Nashville, you've been good to me, but it's time to go. In this space, I've managed to squeeze every little bit out of it that I can. I've had so many fond memories at this space. I've made a number of songs that have charted on the radio, and uh, it's time to say goodbye. So for now, it's time to tear down this desk and completely rebuild something completely new, and we're gonna do it together. So, here we go. What a job trying to get this desk in here. I didn't, I didn't think I was gonna need to film it, but I should have. I had to take the hinges off the door to get this thing in here, and it just made it. Couldn't be happier about that. We've got the usual suspects in the rack, but with a minor addition, I've got the D60 power amplifier, and I've also got my Event 2020s back. Really happy about that. They sound awesome. It's super late for me, so I'm probably gonna get some shut eye and get back to organizing in the morning. But I wanted to power everything on and just run through a few tests, make sure that the patch bay is set up correctly, make sure that everything's receiving power right, and uh, then uh, push it up against the wall and uh, go from there in the morning. As for the rest of the space, goodness gracious, there's a lot of work to be done. All right, well, it's certainly not totally done here, um, but I've just got my guitars kind of set there temporarily. I've got some of this, uh, mess over here. I've got to organize that quite a bit. I've got my speakers and everything working. I've already tested all of that. Um, now really all that's left to do is test how does it sound. And the thing is, is we're in, I would say, the, probably the typical home studio kind of setup. It's a small room. Um, I've got a closet with storage, uh, just camera gear right now. I might do something about that. Um, but for now, really all that's left is just to see how it sounds. So I just set up some mics and we're going to see what we can get as far as sounds. Let's see. Doesn't sound too bad. It's obviously pretty roomy. Um, let's do something about it.
Wow. It's been a minute since I've been in my own room that sounds like this. So Orlex came by the other day and absolutely, I don't really have words, but what do we got going on, right? So we've got some pro panels on the wall. We've got three pro panel base traps. We've got some movable panels here. We've got a movable base trap. Um, we've set up the vocal booth. It's rocking and rolling. And uh, I think you can hear the difference. All right, well, it's certainly not totally done here, um, but I've just got my guitars kind of set there temporarily. I've got some of this, uh, you know, normally I use my lav mic, so just with the lav mic, I'm sure you can already hear an absolutely massive difference, you know, and even like the clap test, right? Just a totally different vibe, incredible. Now, now normally I use C-Suite Vokes. I currently don't have C-Suite Vokes on, but now, I should have C-Suite Vokes on my voice right now. Um, I don't think I need it in this room anymore, and I'm really happy about that. I know a lot of people have dogged me in the comments while I was back at my old studio apartment, you know, for the audio, and I just always thought that was a trip. But um, but here we are. We've we've got a lot of things figured out, and uh, sounds incredible now. This isn't a scientific test. I didn't keep the microphones in the exact same spot, obviously, because we had to tear everything down. But we're pretty close and we're pretty much the same exact setup. I've got the same project rolling in Luna um, with the same microphone settings and I've put it in a similar spot. Um, but the things that I think you should listen for when you listen to this test is the ambience uh, of the acoustics of the room and also the clarity of the tone of the guitar. I think the notes really come through. The muddiness of the room is gone. And I think that that's absolutely amazing. You know, normally when I would do my live instrument tracking, I would go to a studio, you know, that adds up over time. And being that I can now track live instruments like acoustic guitar and ganjo or banjo here, as well as do vocals, I mean, that workflow is absolutely phenomenal. <laughs> and the crazier part is for about the cost of running out a, a pro major studio for the day, you can get this entire setup. And so I just, I think that that's amazing. You know, not saying don't go to those studios and, and rent them out. They obviously serve the purpose and definitely, you know, service those studios, go to those studios. When the duty calls to go to that studio, definitely do that. But these Oralex panels are absolutely insane. Next level. Absolutely have to check them out. Anyway, enough of that. Oralex, thank you. Let's see what they did to this room. Yeah, way, 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 way nicer. Normally when I go into a studio and I do tracking, what I'll do is I'll have, uh, I'll tape this so there's no ring and I think it's pretty interesting. You kind of hear it in, in some of the other settings, but I think it really becomes really apparent once all of the ambience of the room really kind of goes away. The thing that I wanted to do in kind of comparing the before and after here is do a real world example. You know, you're never going to have things in a vacuum with audio. Everything is going to be different every time. Doing a test in this manner where you try to replicate as best you can, but you listen to the room. Real world example, this is unbelievable. The design is absolutely awesome too. My favorite thing about these panels is how they kind of blend into the wall. I went with the sandstone color as I kind of have like this beige wall here and I didn't want to go with anything that would stand out too much and kind of make this room feel smaller than it is. And it just, it's too cool. We've, we've got two clouds. You know, I'm really digging my monitors now. 
they also hooked me up with the pro pods and i've never i've never gotten my speakers to sound better uh than with this setup and <laughs> that's just too cool anyways what do you guys think of the sound here what do you guys think of it now that we've worked on it and uh, Oralex did their thing, what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Um, this is the Studio 2.0. We're going to make sure that we have a ton of content. We're gonna definitely be deep diving and talking about room acoustics here. We're definitely gonna be talking about a number of other really cool things that a lot of people don't talk about on the audio channels. So um, if you're not subscribed, definitely subscribe. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you guys think of what we just did here, how it sounds. Please like the video. That really helps me out. Check out my website. If you want to do one-on-one -on -one consultations, I'm happy to spend some time talking with you guys, helping you figure out your audio problems and obstacles to overcome. Love doing that kind of stuff. Love connecting with everybody in the community here. So for everyone that is... Um, been following me on the channel thank you for following me here and uh yeah it's been a journey it's been a journey for sure and this is just the beginning Anyways, really big thank you to Oralex, world-class group of people there. I don't have enough good things to say about how this sounds, how it came out, how hard they worked on this project. If there's one thing that you could do to make your projects better is really step up your acoustics game in your rooms. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really hope you enjoyed the transformation, and uh, we'll see you on the next video.